Have you been wanting to build a capsule wardrobe but don't know where to start? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a capsule wardrobe from scratch, so let's dive right in. Hello, fashionista, I'm Nancy Queen, and I'm here to help you build a wardrobe full of clothes you love to wear, so you love getting dressed every single day. And today we're talking about capsule wardrobes from scratch. I took a trip to my nearby Talbots, went in and I selected 14 pieces of clothes. And from those 14 pieces, I was able to make 34 outfits. And that is the whole concept behind capsule wardrobes is to be able to mix and match and make a plethora of outfits out of just a few pieces. I'm gonna show you what I tried on, the pieces that I selected and how they work together and then all of the outfits I was able to make from those 14 pieces. I started with five tops, including tees and blouses. I chose a white v-neck tee, a sleeveless polo, a lacy eyelet top, a linen blouse with embroidery on the front in a chambray, and a white linen tunic. Then I chose four outerwear or layering pieces, including a white denim jacket, an orange jacket, a chambray or light denim blazer, and a yellow eyelet pullover sweater. My bottoms included a pair of longer length olive green shorts, a cute madras plaid skirt, a pair of white capri jeans, and a pair of paisley navy and white pants. And the final piece I added was this navy and white stretchy printed knee length dress. So here's some tips when you're choosing a capsule wardrobe. You wanna go with mostly neutral pieces. As you can see here, Natalie Kay remind me of this rule. We're gonna go with 80% solids and 20% prints. It's a good ratio to think in mind. I mean, you could be a little more or a little less, but it's a great ratio to keep in mind when selecting your clothes so that you don't get overwhelmed with too many patterns. Pick patterns you like and go with a very neutral color palette and then add in a color that you really like. As you can see here, my orange is really my biggest pop of color. Everything else, the denim, the white, the olive green, they're all very neutral base colors that can work well off of each other. And they're great for layering. The first outfit I have here is the navy and white stretchy dress. And I accessorized it with a lemony yellow pair of espadrilles, a yellow crossbody bag, lemon charm bracelet, and cute lemon earrings. Now, as always, I've provided links down in the description below to all of these products in case you wanted to duplicate any of these looks and let's go on to look number two. I've taken the same dress and added this pop of color orange jacket. I love the combination of navy and orange. I've popped the collar, rolled up the sleeves, and now I'm accessorizing it with a rattan or wicker bag with leather straps and a long strap that makes it a crossbody a pair of brown leather slides, and some navy earrings. Look number three is again our same navy and white dress. This time I've layered it with the denim jacket, the white jacket, and just added some simple navy and white accessories. These navy slides have a little bit of white trim. The earrings are a really pretty navy and white print and a little navy clutch bag. Now the fourth and final look for the dress is this uh, white denim jacket again with the yellow sweater layered over it. Great for a cool evening look. And I've just partnered it with a pair of slides and a little clutch bag and a pair of earrings, all with a really cute pineapple detail. 
In a recent YouTube survey, I asked, when you're choosing your outfit for the day, what do you choose first? And 60% of you said you start with your jeans, pants, or skirt. So your bottom. So I've started all of the following pieces with the bottoms, and I'll show you how I've mixed and matched different tops. And again, how just by changing up the accessories as well, it can really change the look of your entire outfit. Outfit number five is these olive green shorts with a simple white v-neck t-shirt and I found a really cute blue belt with various colors and they're all those colors that I have added to my capsule wardrobe so you'll see it used several times and I've just added some neutral accessories these um, slides once again along with this a uh, tote bag in a nice summer straw. Now in outfit fit number five, I just layered over that yellow sweater again, and I found this adorable lemon tote bag. I pulled in the olive color from my shoes and used the same color in a pair of woven flats, and again with the yellow lemon charm bracelet. Now in outfit number seven, I have the shorts and I added just the yellow sweater by itself, this eyelet sweater, and I added the same belt, a cute pair of coordinating espadrille sandals and a leather tote bag. Now in outfit number eight, I've got my same olive green shorts, this time with the white t-shirt and the white denim jacket, and I had fun with my pop of color orange in this bamboo handled tote, some orange and pearl earrings, and then this fun pair of madras plaid sandals. Now all I did for this outfit was add that yellow sweater over my shoulders, and I changed up my accessories by adding a pair of sneakers, and went to some of those pineapple accessories again. This time I've got a clutch, a pair of little drop earrings, and a little pineapple necklace. Now in this outfit, I'm back to my v-neck white tee, and I've added the chambray blazer to my shorts outfit, and it gives it a nice polished look. I've got a pair of royal blue earrings, a pair of cork-heeled slides, and this cute striped tote with the bamboo handle. Now all I've done with this outfit is add that yellow sweater back. So I've got my t-shirt, my blazer, the yellow sweater with my shorts. I've added this little madras plaid tote bag and a pair of slides and these really cute earrings that pull in all of the colors of my outfit. So again, I've stripped back to my white tee and my olive shorts and this time I've added that orange jacket, a pair of orange espadrille heels, this really pretty pearl twist necklace, a nice big tote, and a pair of tortoise side sunglasses. For the next outfit, all I did was add that yellow sweater back over my shoulders and I found this really cute uh, plaid tote bag that incorporates all of those colors that I'm wearing, the olive green shoes, sandals, and a pair of the orange earrings with pearl, a drop pearl. This time I've switched to that little eyelet tee. I love the short sleeve and the little notch at the collar. There's a little bit of a ruffle at the neckline. And I added this really cute bamboo rattan round bag. It's a crossbody with those brown flats and again the tortoise sunglasses. I absolutely love this blue linen short shirt with these olive green shorts and I love the embroidery on the shirt, the little tassels. It's a really pretty crisp linen and then I've incorporated a pair of blue and white earrings navy shoes with a little white trim, and a navy clutch. Can you believe we're still going on the same pair of shorts? Well, in this last outfit with the shorts, outfit 16, 
I've got a white linen button down shirt. It's a tunic. I love the length on it. And I incorporated a pair of eyelet espadrilles, orange tote bag, and then these really cute orange and pink drop earrings. Now our madras skirt has a lot of great colors in it. So we're gonna have a lot of fun changing things up in this section. So this time I've added that white eyelet shirt and I went with all turquoise accessories. I did these turquoise espadrille heels, turquoise bracelet, earrings, and then this little pink clutch with, uh, it looks like a little watermelon drink in with the turquoise accents. So a very cute outfit to start things off. Next, I gave our little skirt a sporty look by adding this sleeveless polo shirt, a pair of sneakers, and then finished it off with some of those pineapple accessories that I love, the little pineapple clutch and pineapple earrings. This time I've added my white v-neck tee, I put the yellow sweater over my shoulders and then accessorized it with the brown flats along with the coordinating madras purse and a little pair of orange and pearl earrings. For this ensemble, I've got the white tee and this time I've layered the white denim jacket over it along with the same yellow sweater. And I used the brown leather tote Again, pulling in that madras with the sandals and a pair of simple pearl stud earrings. Outfit number 21, I've added in the chambray jacket over the white v-neck tee. And then I found these really cute chambray espadrilles with a floral detail on them. I've brought in a pop of color with this orange tote and those same three-tone earrings that I really like. This outfit incorporates the white long tunic. I've got it half tucked in the front and it's hanging longer in the back, but you could wear it out just as easily. Then I incorporated the high-heeled orange espadrilles and that pearl twist necklace that incorporates all of the same colors that are in the skirt. Finally, I accented it with the pearl drop earrings. Outfit 23 is my last madras skirt outfit, and this time I've got the white tee along with that orange jacket, and this time I went back to the turquoise accessories. I did the turquoise heeled espadrille along with turquoise earrings and that little madras tote. If you love all white, you're going to love this pair of white jeans along with the long white linen tunic. And then I've accented it with this beautiful paisley navy bag, the navy and white flats, along with a pair of simple navy hoop earrings. In this outfit, I dressed down the look by going with the sleeveless aqua polo shirt, a pair of white sneakers, the little madras tote, and the simple pearl stud earrings. I love this combination of the white jeans along with the chambray linen blouse and with white embroidery, along with all of these natural accessories, the round rattan tote, the neutral na uh, brown slides, and then the little navy and white drop earrings. Now this outfit, I'm back with the white jeans, the same white linen tunic, and I've layered the orange jacket over it. Then I pulled in the royal blue sandals, royal blue earrings, and all of those lovely colors in this striped tote bag. Now I still am in an all white outfit. However, this time I've got the white jeans along with that white eyelet top and I've added the olive green sandals, which are you can find that color in this lovely tote bag with lemons all over it, and the little lemon earrings also incorporate some of that green. 
This time I've paired the yellow sweater with the white jeans and given it a classic look by using this plaid bag, the pair of brown sandals, which matches the trim on the bag, and a pair of white pearl stud earrings. Now I'm back to the white tee along with the white jeans, and this time I've added that chambray blazer and added the orange bamboo tote along with madras plaid sandals and the orange and pearl drop earrings. Just by adding the yellow sweater to this outfit and changing my accessories, I've totally changed the look. I went with pineapple yellow accessories and it gives a completely different look than the orange accessories that I did and plaid that I did in the last outfit. Our first outfit with the navy and white paisley pants are these navy flats with a little white trim, a round crossbody bag, and a pair of navy and white drop earrings. Now I'd love to know as you're looking at these outfits, if you have a favorite one, let me know in the comments below. In this outfit, I've got my white tee, the white denim jacket, along with the yellow sweater over my shoulders. I've added yellow espadrilles, a yellow crossbody bag, and a little pop of color with the royal blue dangle earrings. This outfit has the white tee along with the paisley pants, that orange jacket, I popped the collar, added a pair of royal blue flats, the striped colorful tote and the dropped pearl and orange earrings. Do you have a favorite store that you'd like me to do a capsule wardrobe video on? Put it in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.